Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Dot OS version 5.1 for this Poco X2, which is based on Android version 11. So guys, let's begin. So as you guys can see here, the Dot OS version is 5.1, the Android version 11. The kernel we get here is the Redcliffe version 2.5. So yes, which is great. And the build date here is May 28. The security patch level we get here is 5th May 2021. So yeah, these were the specifications. Now moving back, this is the new UI of the about phone, which is a kind of me UI. Then going back, this is the settings panel. As you can see, completely redesigned the connectivity, personalized security, and others. These are the settings categories which has it has divided into and so yeah this is looking great really nice so first of all going to the system here are some options the in the gestures these are the options the gesture navigation which is just as usual normal then you get to see the option lift to check phone but this is just not working here is a bug that this lift to check phone here is just not working then these are the other options in the system updates this is, here is also a bug here it is showing the update check failed so yes there will be no updates no OTA updates in this ROM then going back the, you get to see the normal digital well being available here then in the security these are the options the pin the fingerprint face unlock here is also working absolutely fine and you also get to see the app lock but it this app lock option here is in the customization settings so okay then moving forward going to the battery here the battery backup i must say here is good you will get around five hours of screen on time so as you can see this is my usage from this was from 90 percent to 55 percent currently and here it is showing the screen on time is two hours and 55 minutes i'll show you the whole records here in the accu battery in the history as you can see the charging time from 4% to 92% the phone took 80 phone took 1 hour and 21 minutes to charge so yes the charging time here is long and uh, talking about the battery drain here from 80% to 4% battery drain it took, it got only 4 hours and 12 minutes of screen on time so which is in term my terms less but as you can see from 91% to 61% I got 2 hours and 20 minutes 2 hours and 20 minutes of screen on time and from 61 to 16 another 2 hours 50 minutes so yes this is around almost 5 hours of screen on time from 91% to 16% battery drain so yeah you will get around 5 hours 5 to 6 hours of screen on time at 120Hz display as you can see the display is currently set to 120Hz refresh rate so no issues then moving forward to the another settings here in the sound and vibration everything here is just the same no new options this is the new volume panel the ui as you can see this, it is not new but yeah this is how it looks then these are all the options then you get to see the direct sound enhancer so yeah these were the options then going to the display options these are also just the same as usual just normal other stuff here there is a bug in this option the double tap to wake the double tap to wake as you can see most of the times just don't work as you can see yeah so yeah this is a bug present here that the double tap to wake almost every time it just don't work i in my usage then these are the device specific refresh rate the refresh rate options then uh, the battery saver refresh rate then you get to see the themings and everything i'll just show you the customizations of tab so here is the customizations this is the new ui as you can see in the wallpapers these are the options available like the dot os exclusive ones so yeah this is a great thing then in the aod and lock screen these are the options you can turn on the aod from here always on display the edge lighting edge lighting color mode as you can see the custom colors you can select from here then in the status bar these are the options available here then in the quick settings these are the options the columns and rows you can customization this is the whole new ui which i have seen for the first time and this is only in the dot os
then here is the app locker available so yeah so you have to go to the customize set customization set and uh, go to the app lock to turn on here is the option the lab available but i just turn it off if you want i can turn it on the lab the enable engine then the colors will be the theme the accent colors of the ui will just change according to the wallpaper as you can see it has changed to red it will change according to wallpaper let me just change the wallpaper again let me just set this wallpaper now the x accent color will just change to yellow or something as you can see so yeah this is something new and this is something great that the accent color accent color will just change according to the u wallpaper and uh, if you turn this off then it will be just to turn to the default blue accent then these these are the clock face available okay then here is the buttons customization the wake volume but wake device with volume buttons and stuff then here are the themes option the theming as you can see the fonts you can customize the icon pack icon shapes the accent color smart accent picker as you can see the disable transparency and everything so these are some options then in the system these are some options available the launcher grid here and these are the maintainers for the particular device so yes this was it for the customizations now going to the home screen this is the home screen as you can see this is like the stock ui and swiping right we get to see the google feed but as you can see the quick settings here has a new ui and which is looking much much clean as you can see and it's looking great wi-fi working bolti lt wi-fi calling here is just working perfectly fine all of the options in the quick settings are working and you will get to see the refresh rate option the screen record here is also working fine and so yeah this was the quick settings and the screen recorder here is also working fine then talking about the camera the default camera we get here is just the normal cam these are the options we get we get to see so yeah this is the default camera we get then uh, talking about the google camera as usual the google camera will be just working absolutely fine then talking about the safety net here the safety net status has also passed and uh, banking apps are running perfectly fine no issues with the banking apps also banking apps are running great absolutely fine the play store the play protect certification as you can see device is certified so yes then talking about the performance so here are the geekbench scores by the time i am recording the video i had forgot to do the geekbench and android bench mark so here are the screenshots So guys this was it then talking about the call quality and messaging and everything so everything here is just working fine the calls are just great no issues with the calls wifi calling also working lt hd call here are also working volte also working so yes this was it now let's just talk about the bugs here the bugs i had just shown you that as you can see the double tap to wake here just don't work as you can see it just don't work almost all the time and sometimes i have faced the lags while opening the apps or stuff but as you can see the apps and everything here is just fluid the performance overall performance of this rom here is also great the rom here is fluid and smooth enough the gestures here are just working perfectly fine as you can see no issues but sometimes i had faced the bug that while going to the recents the ui just gets stopped here like at this place the ui just gets stopped and you will not be able to do this or that you will not be able to close the app so yes there are no major bugs present in this rom the rom here is just working absolutely fine so if you want to use it as a daily driver then you can use it as a daily driver and there are no issues everything here so far is working absolutely fine so yeah this was it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye